Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the AWL Commissioner, and once again it is my duty and honour to inform you of our next AWL Click Purview Extravaganza. It shall be broadcast upon the 15th of March in the year of our Lord 2010. And in the AWL tradition of naming Click Purviews after unique events of the Japanese calendar, our next Click Purview shall be entitled The White Day Massacre. Those of you who are not familiar with the Japanese holiday of White Day may now take a moment to look it up on Wikipedia. Go ahead, I'll wait. Finished? Excellent, then we can continue. Now, you will most likely be interested in knowing the matches that will take place on this click review. In that spirit, please allow me to consult the book. As if I hadn't rigged it to turn to the correct page automatically. Ah yes, in the main event, Wonder Kid shall defend the AWL World Heavyweight Championship against a challenger to be decided next week in something I call the High Score Challenge, which is not a rip-off of the WWE's Beat the, Beat the Clock Challenge in any copyright infringing way. No, 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 no. Also, in a featured match, Tiger Mask shall, for the first time ever, go one-on-one -on -one with his student, Tiger Jr in a graduation match. Should Tiger Jr. be victorious against his sensei, he shall be rechristened Tiger Mask 2. <laughs> a definite promotion. It also involves more money. Rounding out the upper card, after several weeks of unauthorized combat, I am quite perturbed about this. Gamba shall face Wrestler X in a Falls Count Anywhere match. There will be additional matches added to this click review card, but why spoil the fun by telling you all about it now? As for this evening, our main event shall feature a World Tag Team Championship match wherein Big Business, Warrior and Tiny shall put their titles on the line against former champions Yin and Yang. We now take you down to ringside and the hmm, capable hands of our extremely talented ring announcer, Mr. Ryu Sensei. I am the AWL Commissioner signing off. Good evening. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall with a five minute time limit. Now making his way to the ring from Vladivostok, Russia, the Russian bear, Rasputin. And already in the ring, his opponent, Joseph Auber! Thank you, Commissioner, for those kind words. We are starting off with our first match tonight, Rasputin versus the debuting Joseph Auber. Joe Auber. And to make a statement here in the AWL, ring the bell. Thank you very much. Five minute time limit, as all single matches are, for anyone who's worried that uh, cold sickness uh, thing that I had during last week's absolute atrocity of a program. Uh, I'm over it now, as you can probably tell. Now, Rasputin, the Russian bear flying out of Vladivostok, Russia, is a young man who made a bit of a name for himself in the AWL New Year's Tournament back in January. And uh, he's been given an opportunity to show what he can do here against uh, the debuting Joseph Auber, who 
Frankly, I don't have high hopes for this young man. I mean, look at him. He's got to be, you know, 68 pounds dripping wet. And he has a rather unfortunate name for a professional wrestler. Rasputin working over the leg of his uh, much smaller opponent. As the commissioner told you, coming up later tonight, Big Business will defend the tag team titles against Yin and Yang in a match that uh, I'm actually looking forward to. Also on the card this evening, uh, we've got some light heavyweight action. DJ Smark faces Kagesenshu. And wait a minute, the Russian headbutts! Taking Joe Arbor right down to the mat, but the plucky little scamp gets right back up. Uh, somewhat surprising there. Missing with that hookup, and Joseph Arbor hit an offensive move! That is very nice! Joseph Arbor hits the uh, Randy Ark Orton Chinlock of Doom. And no matter how long he holds that chin lock, it's still going to be a pretty lame-looking rest hold. Four minutes remain in this bout. Reversal. And look at that, the abdominal stretch, the Russian bear using his size and strength advantage to render Joseph Abba in twain! But I don't really have a follow-up to that joke. And a miss yet again with the flying clothesline, and a two-handed choke stops Joseph Auber right in his tracks, giving Rasputin a chance to show us what he's got again, those Russian headbutts. Joseph Auber down into the yellow zone, and now, and now Rasputin is working over the neck, working over the head, with the Randy Orton chinlock of doom, showing uh, Auber how it's done. Nice drop kick. Kicks uh, Joseph Albert halfway across the ring. Oh, uh, we'll talk a little bit about Rasputin. He was a young man from a farming community in the um, post, the the early, very early post-Soviet era. Um, he was a actually he was born during the Soviet era. Grew up on a on a farming community, and now he as a t and then he has a t and, blah, blah, blah. and then as a teenager he developed uh, an interest and in ability in uh, professional fighting fought in a lot of uh, barroom uh, bare knuckle matches etc uh fighting for a free glass of vodka in his native Vladivostok um eventually traveled to Japan where he made inroads as a uh, wrestler in the puro uh puro resu uh community and now he is here in the Animated Wrestling League. And Joseph Auber in the red zone. He's vulnerable to the Satsuwaza, which is not the Mishimet Verkog. Mishimet Verk, Russian for bear. The Russian uh, Mishimet Verkog. Squeezing Joseph Auber into tiny little pieces. And what is Rasputin thinking now? And again, Joseph Auber hits an offensive move. That's going to be... Uh, uh, somewhat disappointing. And here we go. Well, check this out. He's Satsuwaza. Siberian Slam! Running Power Slam, Siberian Slam! For the one, two, three! And there we go! Rasputin makes his statement. Here's your winner, Rasputin! A definite force to be reckoned with here in the AWL Heavyweight Division. Coming up next, it's DJ Smart vs. Kage Senshu, Light Heavyweights take over here on AWL Deception. Stay tuned. <laughs>